So the ultimate goal for this training is they can save people's lives. A mass cal provides a high stress level for both the ground medics and the uh, flight medics. And basically it's chaos and we need to expose them to multiple patients so they can stay calm under pressure. So the beginning of the mass cal is obviously moulaging the patients. My personal philosophy on the moulage is just providing that, uh, you know, actual, the visuals, the, the senses um, to get the medics to, I guess, act like or feel like it's real. Um, giving them some real world battlefield injuries. And then we set them up at a site and um, have them attacked. The main objective here is to provide realistic uh, scenarios for both the ground medics and the uh, flight medics, and then the ground medics triage, and then transport them to a CCP or a casualty collection point where they can get an accurate count on the wounded, and then they call in a nine line for medical evacuation. As the helicopters are inbound, we communicate, usually in the nine line, we give them the color of smoke so they can identify that, hey, this is the actual LZ, and they can confirm it with the color of smoke. I feel every medic from a PFC to a Sergeant First Class um, benefits from um, any sort of medical training, and it's just exposure. The more exposure it, that they have in training, the better they'll act in a real casualty.